Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine 4. Now in this tutorial, I will teach you guys how we can add a basic character and use our animation starter pack from the marketplace and the Epic game software. We are not going to be using different animations. We are just going to start with the starter pack. Uh, later on I will give you guys a couple of tutorials on using different animations creating your own animation blueprints your blend space your aim offsets and a couple of es extra things like working working on the state machine and stuff like that okay so anyway in this tutorial let's keep it simple first of all the character will not have any clothes why because in the future later on I will give you guys tutorials on how to add different clothes to your characters like pants, shoes, hats, shirts and stuff like that so eventually your users or your players on your project can change the character the way they want you know like give them a different look so we need to just keep it simple if you want to add clothes to the character you can do it but eventually you have to use a blank one in the future for later tutorials and that will help you a lot now for the character we will be using the Mixamo Fuse software now you need to create an account so you can start uploading your characters into Mixamo and get animations for them but also to export them as a FBX file for the Unreal Engine 4 now when you get into the Mixamo website for that you need to click on animate after you get your character done you can upload it to your Mixamo account in the website or you need to register if you don't have an account after you get the account and you get in the website it will just give you your asset of your character and the animations that you may want to add to them after that you can just download it and for the format you need to choose FBX for Unreal Engine 4 and just choose the typos for now that's all do not touch anything else later on I will give you more tutorials of other animations and stuff that you can use on Mixamo okay so after you downloaded the the file the character let's try to get them in the game so for that create a folder any name that you want to give for the character I just created one that's named team character so I'm going to import this in here now be sure that you already have added your animation starter pack from the marketplace to your project so you can use the animations of the starter pack now the skeleton for the starter pack is the UE uh, where is it? Uh, I think I lost it. Let me see. Oh, the UE4 mannequin. That's the skeleton that we'll be using from the starter pack. So when we get to import our character, he will ask us which skeleton you want to use, and we have to tell him that it's going to be the UE4 mannequin. so the name of my file is fuse model and as soon as I upload it I import this one into the engine the name will stay l will stay like that so eventually that's the one I need to search for and get him inside my blueprint character so from here he will tell you if it's uh, he will ask if it's skeleton mesh that you want to import or just you want to import the mesh only plus the skeleton now the skeleton like I told you guys has to be the UE4 mannequin skeleton because we're going to be using the animation starter pack and for the import animations just leave it unchecked because we don't really have any animations on the character that we created on Mixamo that we downloaded it's just in T-Pose and that's all we need just for now after that click on import all it will start importing the character the mesh textures and creating the materials that are supposed to be added to our character don't worry about the errors that you may get on the um, on the screen just click on clear and close them it's still compiling the shaders for the materials so now that we have our character inside the game now we need to tell him where it has to be where it has to go and eventually in our game here on our project 
we have to put it on the VR character blueprint that is the character that we are crea uh, creating from scratch that we're making from scratch that we want to add like everything to it from scratch I am not I don't want to use already things that are made up on the game I want to show you guys how to do this from 0 to 10 okay so from here let's go to our mesh irritated mesh and let's choose the skeletal mesh that in this case our character is the fuse model at least for me that that's the name that I gave to the character to the file because I forgot to change it fuse model there we go so it has the animation because I already uh, I already tried to give animations and everything for the character but as you can see when you get an import it's supposed to import like this if you export it the character only with typos and with no animations is supposed to be like this after it shows off like this you need to choose here that it's going to be using in the in animation blueprint that in our case right now is the animation blueprint from the animation starter pack that is this one the UE4 ASP Hero TPP Anim Blueprint in our case we need to go to our character And we need to tell him that the blueprint is going to be the UE4 ASP Hero TPP and in blueprint. And that's the animation that we have on our animation starter pack on the animation blueprint. So the idle animation is this one, like he's holding a gun. And everything is already set up on the same machines and stuff like that. So basically, if we start running, he will start running. And if he goes back, backwards he will start running backwards and stuff like that eventually I will show you guys how to do all that from scratch on the next tutorial now let's test our character to see how it's working with our animation starter pack so basically the animation starter pack and the animation blueprint the UE4 ASP TPP Hero Animation Blueprint. In there, you have all the animations for crouching, jogging, idle, walk, jump. Inside from there, you need to work with all the animations of the character. So, here we go. Here we have our character right now. As you can see, it's working fine, it's running stuff like that so eventually I will show you guys on next tutorials on how to create how to import a character with other animations but I'm gonna show you guys how to create a blend space how to create an aim offset and how to add all those stuff on the functions on the blueprints and all those things that are uh, a lot of work so guys, uh, I hope my tutorial just helped you guys a lot. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date to all the tutorials that I give for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment on the box below. Hit a thumbs up. And guys, remember, design, create, and make it look good. Bye.